Hello. In this section, we will learn about the basic parts of a car. A car is also known as an automobile, four-wheeler or vehicle. Just like our bodies, a car has exterior parts that are visible to us and interior parts that are hidden from our eye. We will learn about both these types of parts. Let us begin with the exterior parts that are easily visible to us. Looking at the car from the front, we see the car hood. The hood is openable and houses the majority of the car's functional parts. Below the hood is the bumper that protects the car during a collision. There is a radiator under the hood of the car. On both sides are the front wheels and above each wheel is a fender. There is a trunk in the back of the car for storage. There are four doors in the car, two in the front and two in the rear. Behind the rear door, there is a quarter panel. On both sides of the front door, there are side view mirrors for the driver to see the traffic behind the car. The windows of the car are covered with glass. The glass in front is called the windshield. The windshield has a windshield wiper which is used to keep the glass clean. There are lights in the front and rear of the car, called headlights and tail lights, respectively. Besides them, there are brake lights that get lit when brakes are applied and indicator lights which are used to indicate the direction in which the car is going to turn. Now, let us look at the interior of the car. The panel in front is called the dashboard. In the dashboard, there can be an air conditioning system along with air vents music system and other accessories. There is a glove box in it for storage. It also consists of a rear view mirror and light on the ceiling. There is a steering or steering wheel which is used to give direction to the car. The steering wheel has a horn in it. In front of the driver there are several meters like speedometer, fuel gauge and temperature gauge. There are three pedals for the driver, namely accelerator, brake and clutch. There are seats in the front and back part of the car. All seats have seat belts attached. A gear shift and emergency handbrake are placed in the space between the two front seats. The doors comprise of handles and locks. The gearbox and clutch which are used by the driver are connected to the engine. The brake pedal and emergency handbrakes are connected through the lines. There is a booster, master cylinder and combo valve connected to the brake pedal. In the brake mechanism, there are disc brakes in the front wheels and drum brakes in the rear wheels. They are connected by lines. Let us have a closer view of clutch. It consists of the flywheel, clutch disc, pressure plate, clutch cover, hub. Now, let us look at the engine which drives the car. The engine contains intake and exhaust cam. The intake and exhaust valves take the combination of fuel and air in and out of the cylinders. The cylinders contain the piston and connecting rod which are rotated by the fuel. These cylinders are connected by a crank and flywheel. The battery is made up of a positive and a negative terminal. The inside of the battery is filled with electrolyte solution like dilute sulfuric acid. There are cells in the battery containing negative electrodes made of lead and positive electrodes made of lead oxide. There are cell dividers and cell connectors surrounding the cells. There are vent caps on top of the battery. All the inner parts are enclosed by a protective casing. Here is a simplified explanation of the working of transmission. The transmission is connected to the engine through the clutch, because of which the input shaft of the transmission turns at the same RPM as the engine. Here, a very simple two-speed transmission is shown in neutral to understand the basic idea 
of a standard transmission. Cars come in various shapes and sizes like saloon, estate, coupe, hatchback and convertibles. There are electronic communications devices which can be used in the car for different purposes. Here we can see some of them.